Let's look at an example about the use of dot product. Dot product in statics has two main uses. One of them is to find the angle between two lines, and the second one is to find how much of a force is going in a particular direction. This example shows how to find the angle between two lines. So let's say that for this particular example, we're going to have a telecommunication uh, tower. Okay, so here. And let's say that that um, telecommunication tower is going to be somewhere in here. So let's say that this line is that tower. Of course, it's, it's going to be more of a truss when you actually look at it in, in person. Uh, and let's say that we have our axis. Let me do the axis in yellow. This is going to be my x-axis. This is going to be my positive x. Um, over here, we're going to have my y-axis. That's going to be my positive y. And my z-axis is going to be going up right here. Right. So again, that, that white line is supposed to represent a tower that is on the floor. Now, let's say that the height of this tower is 35 meters. So let's say this height is 35 meters. Now, there is going to be a point A at the top of the tower, and there's going to be another point B, which is the location where a cable that is connected to the top of the tower is, 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 uh, is placed. So this is point B. And let's say that my cable, my cable is going to be this line AB. Okay, line AB. Okay. Now, the distance from here to the x-axis, this distance is going to be 20 meters. And the distance from B to the y-axis is going to be 30 meters. And the question that we need to add, to answer is, what is the angle between the cable and the tower. Okay. So that's talking about this angle right here. Right. That's what we're talking about. All right, so for that, of course, we want to use our um, dot product. And before I can do that, I need to define a couple of vectors. The first vector that I want to um, uh, um, define is this vector. And I'm gonna call this vector RAO. And assuming that this is the origin, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that origin point O. So, that is going to be my position vector of the origin based on A, okay? The second vector I need to define is this vector AB. It's another position vector, R, AB. So that is position of B relative to A, right? Now notice that the tail of the two vectors are connected and that is important we're going to find the angle between two vectors, okay? Because by definition, um, the dot product is the angle of, of the connection between the two tails. So we are going to find this angle theta. That's what we're going to find, okay? That angle theta. All right, so let's write down the uh, those two vectors, okay, the two vectors. So the first vector that I'm going to write down um, 
is oh by the way so let's make some assumptions so assumptions in here is that that cable has no sag right otherwise we're gonna see a change on the um, on that angle at the connection so one assumption we're making is the cable has no sag So it's a straight line. All right. Now let's look at the at the solution of this. And what I'm going to start with is first defining those vectors. So my vector R A O based on the dimensions that I see in that diagram. This is 35 in this direction. So it's going to be minus 35 K units of meters by our AB our AB is going to be equal to 30i right it's going in this direction it's divide minus 20j right it's opposite to the y-axis and then we have minus 35k that's also in units of meters. So how my two vectors? My two vectors. All right, so now remember that we have two equations that we can use to calculate the dot product. One of them can be used based on this uh, Cartesian vector form, right? And the other one is using the magnitudes and the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So let's use the first one, the one that we uh, that we use the uh, uh, the components of that Cartesian vector. So we can say that R A O dot R A B is going to be equal to thirty and zero, because there is nothing in the uh, RAO, right? Uh, in the, uh, multiplying the unit vector I times minus 20 and zero plus minus 35 minus minus 35. So that is going to be the uh, uh, my dot product. If I do these calculations, this is zero, this is zero, and we have a value of one, two, two, five meters square, right? If this is meters, this is meters, the units will be meters square. Okay, very good. Now, let's, that, that's, that's one of the equations that we know for dot product. Now let's use the other equation, right? So we also know that our AO dot our AB is the magnitude of our AO, the magnitude of our AB times the cosine of theta. That again is that angle that we have between the two vectors, right? So there's that angle in blue in that diagram. Okay, so um, we don't have the magnitudes yet, but we can calculate those, right? So we can say that the magnitude of our AO, well, let's look at that vector. That's not gonna be too bad because we see that it's only going in one direction, right? It's going to be 35 m, uh, 35k. So we can just, by looking at that vector, we can see that the length of that vector is going to be equal to 35 meters, right? And the magnitude of our AB is going to be equal to the square root of Let's see, we have 30 squared 
plus 20 square plus 35 square and let's see if I have my calculations here this gives me a value of 50.25 meters okay very good the other two magnitudes one and two we have the value of the dot product from the first equation so what we can say is well we already calculated they are a all dot r a b and we say that that was one two two five meters square and that is also equal to 35 that's the magnitude of magnitude of r a o times 50.25 times the cosine of theta right and that is that's coming from this equation over here this equation over here right we replace this value with what we cal calculated before and this with the magnitudes of those two vectors and finally we have that theta is going to be equal to the inverse cosine of c uh, one two two five over 50.25 times 35 right? so I just solve for theta from that from this uh, equation over here and the value of theta that I obtain is 45.85 I'm going to use uh, three significant figures and that will be in degrees that is my final answer yes as a uh, uh, warning if you do this and it gives you a different value please check that your calculator is in degrees and not in radians uh, now if you get the if you prefer to use radians and you still use radians as your units uh, you know that that will be okay I just want to make sure that the units and the values are uh, consistent.